Uh, one thing we forgot to do, which you see in the schematic, is that these edges here are rounded. And so are the edges inside of this U-shaped loop over here. So what we should have done is, when sketching out the part, rounded these edges and then extruded that. Now there's two ways to fix this. Well, you're in the rotate view, so I want to first get you out of that. You can do that by clicking on the rotate view tool again, and now you've got your mouse pointer back. What we're going to do with one of these edges is uh, make the change in the sketch again. So we're going to go back to the parts container, expand that out, expand out barbell stand. Going to go down to the features, solid extrude, and there you see the section sketch. And I'm going to right click on that and say edit. And this brings me back to the sketcher that we were in before. And now I'm going to create a fillet back here by going over to the create fillet between two curves tool. I click on that. It asks me for a fillet radius. 0 0.05 meters is what I was aiming for. So I'm just going to hit enter on my keyboard. Let's, let's select the first entity near the end to be filleted. So I select my first entity, and then it says select the second entity. So I go ahead and I select that. And there you see Abacus has created a fillet. If I zoom in on it, you can see it better. You still see this gray region outside because we haven't updated our previous view yet. So once again, I'm going to cancel out of this procedure now that it's done, and hit the Done button. Now you see Abacus complains the feature has not yet been regenerated. You still see it without the fillet. But to regenerate it, you select Feature and then say Regenerate. So I'm going to say OK to that. Come back here and right click on Features and click on Regenerate. And there you see it has been regenerated and we've got our fillet. Another way to create the fillet would have been to do it right out over here without going into the Sketcher module. And we can do that by using the create round or fillet tool. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to choose create round or fillet. Oh, it looks like I clicked on it twice, so I'm going to do it again. Now it says select the edges to round or fillet individually, or you can do it by edge angle. I'm going to go with individually and if I zoom in a little closer, as I hover my mouse over the edges, Abacus lights them up. So I'm going to click on that edge and click on the done key. I'm going to set the radius to 0 0.02 which is what I want. Now Abacus isn't just correctly guessing these radii. I could previously guess 0 0.05 and 0 0.02 when that's exactly what I wanted to do. It's not that Abacus has some built-in logic, it's just that I've performed the simulation once before so my numbers are still sort of saved inside of Abacus. I'm going to hit the enter key and there you see our fillet has been created. I also want to fillet around the other edge. So I'm going to rotate the model using the rotate view tool. Come back in here, click, and rotate. I'm going to get back out of the rotate tool. And once again select the create round or fillet tool. But since it's already selected, I'm not going to click on it again. Abacus is already ready. And it says select the edges to round or fillet. Once again I click on the edge. I click done, I specify the radius, hit enter on my keyboard, and there you have it. And I'm going to hit the auto fit view button, and now you can see it a little better. And I'm going to use the rotate tool to rotate around, make sure everything's looking alright. So we've completed the creation of our part file. If you look in features, you see we have a solid extrude, and then we have two rounds which you see light up here in the viewport as I click on them. You see these next to solid extrude because all three of these things were done in the part modeler. You don't see this round show up because that was done within the sketcher. So if I clicked on solid extrude and went into the section sketch then I'd be able to see that. It's just how Abacus arranges things. It's very systematic but everything you've done is visible here in the models tree. So I'm gonna collapse these items just so we can see the rest of the model tree more clearly and we are gonna move on to the next module which is creating materials